And one of the things that really killed me is it, what it really feels like is they're trying to shoehorn in their Star Trek and make it make it part of the universe without actually doing the work for it. You know what I mean? That's the thing that kills me the most is that they're they're do, without without really doing the work. So the main character Michael at the end of season two is basically the reason every other Star Trek character in the universe did anything worth anything you know she inspired spock she you know went with a time traveling you know god suit that breaks all known you know bullshit in the universe you know goes back in time and saves all kinds of bullshit it's just, it's just, it's just, it's just i really i really recommend watching red letter media's take on it those guys are those guys basically are they they share my opinion on a lot of Star Trek. They're a little bit older than I am, so that's that's the thing. They were older when Star Trek came out, especially than like the next gen, which is which is my favorite. So, alrighty. So, are we gonna do this liberation mission? That's the question. It's nineteen to twenty one. So I'm assuming that even if I do this, it's probably gonna be pretty hardcore. The failure of the new Star Trek just means the producers are bad. Yeah, but that's the thing. It's like because CBS doesn't care, like they don't they don't give a flying rat's ass. I was about to drop an F-bomb. They don't give a flying rat's ass if Star Trek succeeds. They don't care if it even makes money anymore. They don't even care. And you know they don't care because it's not making money. Because it's basically most of the fan base is turned off by it. But they're still letting um, the guy that's that's basically you know destroying star trek let him continue to destroy it and they continue not to support fan made fan made stuff oh hunter greetings and salutations dude you threw it right in there didn't you you threw it right in there just oh my god you guys know how to trigger the shit out of me don't you uh so what are we looking at we're looking at uh 16 to 18 13 to 15 with just you guys voodoo is you guys on covert ops? Yeah, you're on covert ops. Okay, so geckos, gizmos wounded. You're on mission. Wolf, you of course Nexo's infiltrating. Of course he is. He's got ten hours on that though, so I don't really want to wait ten hours. I might just skip this. I think we're just gonna skip it. It's in West Asia. Hmm. Hmm. I don't know, man. I don't know. We could we could just go ahead and we could go ahead and roll with it, right? Sabotage transmitter. Ooh, it's one of those. No, I'm not doing that. Nope. Nope. If it was just, no, no, no. I'm not doing a sabotage transmitter. I do not like those missions. Let me let me let me re let me restate that just for the record. They're fine missions. It's it's okay. I just don't like doing them because of how the mechanics of them roll. Because you have to because you have to very you only get like three turns before you have to start shooting the little nodes and that breaks your stealth which means you're at a disadvantage from there on from there on in if you don't actually open up on a pod first and so and then you have to and then you have to keep shooting those things until you get to the end of the thing so you have to waste shots on not shooting enemies <laughs> and and you have reinforcements coming and it's going to be at least you know 13 to 15 enemies so it's like now nah, we're just, we're just going to we're just going to let that roll and I'm going to have to worry about that freaking UFO there so yeah, you know it's gonna be you know it's gonna be sectopods and gatekeepers and all that other stuff. Let's start liberating the region. Okay, five days, four hours. Still nineteen to twenty. It's hacker resistance computer though. Crispolid infiltrators. Hmm. Why is it so many dudes? Why is it so many dudes? Rescue VIP. Han Chin Han. Mi Chin Han. Damn the missions, boys. The missions. Operation Warfire. Sabotage monument. Get Advent's attention. I mean, I don't need the intel, so we don't. I don't really care about that. Five days, four hours is not enough time. Not with that many dudes. To be fair, though, it's not really that bad. But I, we're, I, you know me, you know me, guys. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna hold on that. We're gonna, we're gonna be doing this here soon. We could just go ahead and boost it and go. If I boost it now, though, it'll be, it'll be fairly low. You know what? Screw it. 145, 31 to 33. Assault Advent Headquarters. Liberate! Western Europe. Who do we got? We got Booze, Joker, Mayday, Neutron, Nexo, Scythe, Storm, and Boomtime. Boomtime's the only one who's not max level, so... Onward, my dudes! For honor and glory await. Star Trek Discovery Season 3 is starting soon. Yeah, I know, right? And the funny thing is, is that as, as, as absolutely abysmal as Star Trek Discovery has been for the Star Trek franchise 
for the money, how much money they poured into it and lost. The reason they're giving them three seasons is because they don't want to seem worse than Enterprise. And the thing about it is, I actually liked Enterprise. It had its faults. It definitely had its faults. But it was most most certainly Star Trek. That that's That was it. You know? They tried too hard with the whole Zindi thing. And the funny thing is, the Zindi thing actually turned out to be pretty awesome. I think it was the the temporal Cold War that threw a lot of people off. Because it just, it was it felt like it was trying way, way too hard. When they really just needed to be, real, they just really needed to focus on what the Enterprise was supposed to represent as far as the show and the the time and period that it was in it was supposed to be a it was supposed to be because you remember when kirk talking about the the time period that archer lives in in the original series and when picard talks about it as well they talk about how what an age of discovery you know all these things and so there's so many things that they could have they could have revisited um that they just they just they just they they, they kind of flopped on it because the they wanted to do something epic and I think that's the problem. I'll get to that in a second, Dragon. There's um there, I think that's a problem with a lot of movies, TV shows nowadays is that they they don't focus on the small stories. They want this giant epic you know universe ending, god awful bullshit that is just every you know everything. I, I don't I don't I don't know how to describe it. Like there's always got to be you know end of the universe. Into the galaxy, you know, oh my God, the Federation's going to fall, you know, existential threat that always has to be fought. And the problem is, is it ramps up power levels, right? So how is, how is the Enterprise going to fight the Enterprise NX-1701, you know, the first with its little puny phase cannons and, and, and no shielding going to fight against, you know, an enemy that has such superior technology. And so they had to ramshackle it together and all this other bullshit. It just... And you're right, Hunter. They canceled it just when it was getting good because they finished the Temporal Cold War bullshit, mostly. And they they finished the Zindi bullshit, mostly, which was part of the, the Temporal Cold War. I actually liked how it rolled into the Zindi thing where they were trying to blow up Earth. The problem is it was ham-fisted in because it was never talked about before. And the Zindi were never really in the show at all. So... It, but in the but they, they ended up they ended up making up for it when when they actually got to confront the Zindi uh, species zizzes uh, because you had the reptilians the insectoids all and it was it was really good stuff it was really good Star Trek once they got past all the you know esoteric doomsday bullshit and they actually got into talking to the races and Medicine and dealing with the internal politics and of the Zindi and 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 it really got good that was that was really good Star Trek and you had Archer go in by himself into this room full of of hostile Xenos and just own it just own the shit out of it I absolutely loved it and then and then you had the um, the what was it um, I didn't like the, the the things they were doing in the in the space where they were trying to turn it into that goo. I thought that was kind of dumb. That was where the spheres were and all that other stuff because that was all ham-fisted in as well. Retconned, as it were. That's what they would call that. And I don't like when they do that kind of stuff. Um, but you're right. They, they ended it just when it was getting good because they started focusing on different stories. They, they started, uh, God, what was the last season? Last season was, um, I can't remember. I can't even remember. Because I was talking so much about the Zindi. Um, the last season was... God, I can't even remember what they did. Um, crap. Crap. Because it was it was getting real good because they, they switched focus from like the, the crazy existential doomsday nonsense. Oh, that's right. The Romulans. Like, that's what they should have done instead of the Zindi stuff in season two. And they should have been building up to that is the, the Romulan storyline where where we discover who the Romulans are and what they're doing because they were basically trying to get the Andorians and the and the and the um, and the Vulcans and the and the Tellarites and the humans all to fight one another and it ended up creating the Federation that was how the Federation started and that was not retconned in that was in the lore beforehand um, I believe even even Picard talked about it because they uh, in in Next Gen uh, maybe one of the movies I can't remember but I don't remember where it actually came from but the reason that the Romulans uh, were so uh, the, the Romulans and the humans fought a war 
that the humans won. The Vulcans have been fighting that war for like a hundred freaking years against the Romulans. It was like a proxy war kind of thing. And the humans come in and in freaking like, what was it, five years, just completely and utterly obliterate the Romulans. Uh, and with the help of the Vulcans, obviously. And, and because of the Romulan threat, it creates the Federation. And that, that story arc was my favorite, the founding of the Federation. Yeah, dude, they, and that was the thing. It's like the reason they founded the Federation so quickly in the series is because they were going to cancel it. What I would have loved to seen is like the actual huge overarching story arc of how the Federation actually got founded. Every dip, you know, every step, diplomacy, all the all the ups and downs and weevils and wobbles and bips and bobs and all the stuff that would have been amazing. But because they wanted to do all this other bullshit first and nobody and most of the people didn't really like it. And then by the time they decided to do something good, they got it canceled. And so the whole Romulan thing was really, really awesome. And they introduced a, a subspecies of the Andorian, which was really cool. Um, that allowed telepathic control of ships and whatnot. It was, it was really cool. Just flash past it all. Yeah, they did. But well, I mean, I understand why they were canceling the show and the ep last episode was just, Oh, I don't know who thought that was a good idea, but you know, whatever, whatever. All right. You uh, you've got the axes. Don't you neutron? Yes, you do. Okay. So this is going to be, this is uh this is going to be the song. Oh, Back to your thing. Dragon, what do I think of DS9? I used to not like DS9 nearly as much. It used to be my least favorite Star Trek. Um, and then I watched uh, Razor Fist do an entire, like, expose on, on why DS9 was really good. Just as good as Next Gen. And it got me to thinking because the main reason I didn't like DS9 way back in the day was because it was on a space station. I didn't like all the politics that dealt with the Bajorans because I didn't like the Bajorans. Uh, the whole religious nonsense, I didn't like that much either. And so I wanted, I wanted them to do more exploration into the Gamma Quadrant rather than just, you know, sit on a space station. Uh, because it was originally supposed to be like a western town on the frontier. And they were supposed to do stuff like that. And it kind of didn't do that so by the time i got to the dominion war it got really good for me in my opinion so we're gonna Understood. move up Ooh, do we see something i think we see something we see a turret okay not bad not bad um but then once i watched razor fist's thing it got me to thinking about the show and i was like okay maybe 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 the first pass i was a little bit judgmental you know and i was i was a young teen at the time so okay so i went back and i watched the entire series and i gotta admit i gotta admit razor fist was right it was better than i originally thought it was better than I originally thought, most definitely. All right, boys. Sorry about all the pontification. I can't help it. I can't help it. When we talk about Star Trek, it's just like, it's, it's oh, so good. Star Trek is my thing. It is my thing of thing. All right, now, let's see. We've got, oh, yeah, that's right. I brought I brought Scythe, too. <laughs> Ooh, yeah, that's that's pretty good. Okay, so where's the, where's the line at here? That's the wall. The wall over there? Yeah, the wall is over there. So, how close is it? It's pretty close. Let's get actually get you as close as we can right here the first few seasons of ds9 are not very good the last seasons are much better i agree but the thing about it is is they were doing very good setup and they were doing very star trek episodes like this like the episode where cisco and o'brien got caught in the ore processing facility I, I i originally didn't like that episode very much and then once i once i went back and watched it I, you know i had a new respect for it it definitely it was definitely a thing Ooh. Yeah, that's what I wanted to see. That's what I wanted to see. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and move up. Unfortunately, my boys, the coffee runs through me, so I need you to stand by, 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 to stand by. I'll be right back. Alrighty, boys. Here we are. Yeah, you're right. It doesn't really stand up as well, but they had some really good episodes in there. Like I said, it, it really, it really took me a while to come around to it. 
I still liked the DS9 because it, it was Star Trek. And, and, and that's the thing is like, even though it wasn't my favorite, even though I didn't like it when I was a kid, it was still Star Trek. I didn't think it wasn't Star Trek. Like the new, the new Star Trek stuff, that's not Star Trek. It's, it's, it's like, it's like they murdered Star Trek with a, with a knife, then they skinned it and they're wearing it as a skin suit. That's what the new Star Trek feels like to me is a skin suit, skin suit. There's not much time. So yeah, but, um, but my favorite uh, Rip the Axe for Odo. Oh, really? Did he? He passed? Oh, man, that sucks, dude. Odo is one of my favorite characters. Um, also liked Garrick. And uh, most of the... most. The, funnily enough, my favorite characters are in... From DS9 are not any of the Star Trek dudes. <laughs> Star Trek. Any of the Federation guys. My favorite ones are Odo, Quark, and Garrick. And I don't even know which order that is. I would probably say Garrick first... Then Quark, then Odo, maybe? Because uh, the problem with Odo is he was in love with Kira, and God, that was an awesome arc, but it wasn't nearly as awesome as they tried to make it, make it out to be. It ended up turning into turning into kind of a shit show um, where they had to make them you know, get together at the end, and it felt very forced um, toward the end, although I understand why they did it, especially after Odo betrayed them all and whatnot. It, it kind of just... Ugh. Just set, set a tone for me that just didn't didn't path. work very well. Uh, Worf was also a good addition. I hated when they killed Jadzia. I was super pissed. I was like, finally, Worf is going to have a family and it's going to be awesome. And then they just kill her and it's like, I hate you so much, Star Trek. I hate you so much right now. Although it made for really good, it made for some really good episodes. The episode where him, uh, Bashir, and, and, and Quark all go on a mission on a Klingon bird of prey, seeing Quark on a Klingon bird of prey, and actually stand up to Klingons and tell them to F off was, uh, that's primo Star Trek right there. That is primo Star Trek. All right, is this my last move? It is, it is. On Overwatch. I did not get a DS9 back when it was a start. I, I saw the last few seasons. The actor that plays Cisco was one of my favorites from a series called Spencer for Hire in DS9. The DS9, he is way too milk toast. Yeah, he gets really good late in the later ones. One of the things that I didn't like was all the... Another thing that I didn't like was all the episodes that were about like the 1950s and whatever because the prophets were doing all kinds of crazy nonsense. I never liked those episodes. Yeah, they were they were fine in and of themselves, but it was they one they did it too much. It felt very ham fisted, and it felt like way too much in your face. You know what I'm saying? Especially and and what really got me was one of the ones with um um what was it called? Because Cisco Cisco is one of those characters where it's like you expect a lot of him because of who he is, what he is, and how far he's come. And then in the episode where they have to like pull up pull a bank heist on the holodeck to help Vic out. He makes a reference to how back in the in the in that time period his people weren't allowed to be in those places and it really killed me because cuz for the most part he never even said anything about that that was never a big thing it was it, and then they it, like I said it felt it very it felt very ham-fisted in that aspect um, I still need to watch Alter Carbon yeah and the expanse I really need to watch the expanse I really do yeah when they brought Q back yeah Q Q. Q was one of those I liked him in I liked him in Voyager. I really liked him in Voyager. Um, I liked him in Star Trek Next Generation too, but it always How should I put this? I'm a big fan of all the of all the books. So they did a lot with Q in the books that was that was really awesome. And I really wish more of the books were considered lore. Like I don't understand why they don't actually just take the books and make them into movies or such. Like the one where it shows the origin of the Borg. Why, why, don't, why don't they make that one into a movie? Like, it's a three-part book. Make it into a trilogy movie. You have you have Strong Wamenses as the main character. Literally, Strong Wamenses as the main character from the Enterprise TV series. Um, who's the who's literally the main character. She is the she is the key to the entire thing. She discovers it all. She 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 does she has super frick. I mean, she literally has superpowers. She literally has superpowers. <laughs> And it's just like, damn it, man. Why can't you take it? It's right there. Because that makes sense, so they can't do that. Yeah, I know. But it, but it, the thing about it is, is it even fits into the whole, like, you know, strong, empowered Whammons' narrative. Right? That's the thing that kills me about it. Is that it, it does the thing they want it to do. Hmm. So there's no other dudes over here. 
I don't know if there's another pot over here or not. Um, what I might do is grab you and run you over here. Yes. See what we can see. Nothing. Okay. Hmm. Those are cells, so we're not going to be able to see anything in there. There still might be some dudes over here, so let's... Let's... Hmm. I really don't want to run all the way up there. I don't think there's going to be anything over there. Of course. Oh, my God. Okay, good, 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 good. There might be a turret over here. That might be a thing. Um, there is no good foil for Q in the other series. Yeah, that's the thing. That is uh, The Expanse is probably the best sci-fi series for the 2010s. I really need to watch it. I really do. I watched, I think, the first episode, and I was kind of intrigued, but I have way too much shit to do. <laughs> and I watch way too much YouTube, so... That's the thing, man, is that most movies and TV shows, they can't get my interest because YouTube exists. So I, I mean, Because I have so many options when it comes to what I can watch, why would I watch something that is hot garbage, in my opinion? You know what I mean? You get, you get what I'm saying? Most movies can't get me because of that reason, because they, they just, they're just boring. They're more boring than Twitter, which is sad, right? <laughs> very, very sad. <laughs> Uh, let's see here. This fat group here probably needs a really good... The problem is, is I won't be able to chuck a claymore through the door unless I get on there. So maybe what I do is I get up top, right? And we chuck a claymore over the top. I like that idea. I like that idea. Um, I shouldn't need to do this, but I'm going to ghost walk anyway. My life is in your hands. And I'm ghost. The reason I'm ghost walking is just in case there's a freaking drone or something over here, like that right the there. Boom. The there you go. There you go. And now next turn, even if they're down here, he'll still be able to launch a rocket over that. Uh, I do have a technical, right? Got a technical in here somewhere? Yeah, there we go. So yeah, technical can just put it right there. Boom. And so if we clay more and then rocket, we'll be good. Be good. Good to go. Good to go. And then I got my Grenadier. Let's see, where's my Grenadier at? Grenadier. Get the Grenadier right here, and just we blow that turret up with a grenade. Or, or kill it with a uh, snipper rifle. You know, either or. Either or. Uh, do you have armor pin? You do. Excellent. Look at that. So we need 17, 18, 19 damage. It's not too bad. Dead eye, and it's dead. Easy peasy. Now, one of the things that, um, that I really wish they would add to the game is the ability to make better AP rounds. That would be really awesome. All right, boys. Unfortunately, I need some more coffee, so I'm going to I'm gonna throw up the break screen. We'll be right back after these few messages from our break screen. Stay tuned. We'll be right back.
it, boys. We're back. Yes, yeah, sorry about that. Thank you for your patience. Very much appreciate it. You guys are so very awesome. I cannot thank you enough for being here today. Absolutely, I'm humbled every single day that you guys come and watch me purge the Xenos scum from our pale blue dot. Yes, indeed. We'll burn the Chosen, cleanse the heresy, and we will kill them all. In the Emperor's name, let none survive. Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. And I see this discussion's going on very hard. It's hard to find new things to enjoy that are not more than a film cinematic laid over political agendas. Yeah. I mean, the, to be fair, though, the political agendas thing is not very thick. It's just in a few things. A lot of it is just they're trying to appeal to a mass audience because they invest so much money in it. They have to make a lot of money back. Entertainment is meant to escape from that. Yes, and you can have politics in in universe, in, in, in anything, but it has to be in-universe politics. I think that's the problem that a lot of them end up having is that they um, they forget that the politics is supposed to be from, their, from the universe it's in, not our universe, right? It's just like the it's just like the people that call the Starship Troopers movie, the first one, uh, fascist. It's it's the most superficial ass argument. Oh, you mean their uniforms are designed to look like World War II Empire uniforms? So therefore, bad. That that's literally what they do. Even though, in the Federation, you can you can you can your citizens are not controlled by the government at all. In fact, they have no power over the citizenry. Excuse me, over the civilians. They only have power over the citizens and only because the citizens say they want to do it. You can leave service at any time. It's actually easier to leave the service in the Federation than it is to leave service in the United States military. There, You cannot just leave the United States military anytime you want. But in the Federation, you can literally just sign a piece of paper and you're gone. They will let you go. They will let you go. And I mean, here's the thing. At the very beginning of the movie, they they urged the, the Mormon extremists not to go into the arachnid quarantine zone. They actually gave a huge area of space to the arachnids to be like, look, you F off over here, we'll F off over here, and we'll just we'll just leave each other alone, right? And so what do the Mormons do? Oh no, we're gonna go settle in the bug space. And did the Federation stop them? No. They said, you should probably shouldn't do that because you'll probably die. And then they went and did it anyway. Did 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 the fascismus government stop them no but if they were fascismus they would have stopped them it's like I, it's like <laughs> it's the weirdest shit ever at least the guy who wrote the script read the book and actually was like yeah these guys are not nazis so i'm gonna write it to make it look good and then the guy who made the movie put all this put all this imagery in there that's supposed to invoke you know world war ii german empire but they're the good guys they're literally the good guys you have free speech. You have the ability to basically do anything you want in your life, including run your own business. And the government will not stop you. It will not stop you at all. You can do anything you want, including join join up for federated service. And that's not even militarism. The reason the reason it screams militarism is because they follow the military around. That's the, that's the point of the story. But the military is extremely small compared to the entirety of the federation. And not only that, if you want to do military, if you want to do federated service, they have to take you. Even if you're blind, deaf, and half dumb, they have to take you. The only way they can't is if you, if you, if a psychiatrist states that you literally cannot or not understand the oath, you are incapable of understanding the oath. They have to find something for you to do, because everyone has to have the ability to earn citizenship. It's just, it's, it's. Oh my God, it's so crazy. <laughs> it's so crazy, man. Ah. Oh. And, and, and they actively encourage people not to join military service. They actively encourage it. In fact, they look down upon you the entire time you're doing it to, to be like, no, you should get the hell out of here. No, don't do it. Even at the very beginning, the guy who's recruiting, you know, who, who Johnny Rico's dad says is recruiting people. He's like, no, he actually discourages it. It's like, yes, yes, he does. I wonder why. I wonder why. Okay, so enough about, enough about that bullshit. All right, so... What's, uh, what's our chances on the... Ooh, drone there, enemy control. That's good. What about the turret? 100% control. I'm not too, not too down with that. What I want to do here is we got, we're going to have the claymore in this space. So maybe... And we're going to blow up this wall. So I probably want to get inside this building with some of my dudes to have some good shots, right? So getting up top with my dudes is probably not going to be a very good priority, right? Right? Maybe. Maybe. Because if I do, if I get him up here, for instance, he's, pr 
probably not going to be able to see much. I don't know, though. Um, I could I could get Joker here. I could get him up here. You know what? Let's put him on the window. Let's put him on the window. Let's put him on the window. If we put him on the window, then that means if he can't see anything, he might be able to at least take a shot at the turret. And that'll be pretty good. We're going to get you moved up to here, because I want you close enough to be able to launch that blaster bomb out there. Uh, we'll get you. You know, I, I probably should get you all the way up in here, maybe. You know what I'm saying? There's only one good piece of full cover in here, and I'm not too keen on, on giving it to you. Nexo, I think we're going to move to here as well. Yeah, it was supposed to be. It was supposed to be. Starship Troopers was supposed to be a satire of uh, of fascism, and <laughs> it's. Uh, it's. I just. I find that. I find it extremely funny. I. Just, it's so ridiculously stupid. Uh, I had no idea because I actually quite like the movie. It's actually got a pretty good, pretty good story. It's a little bit over the top. The guns and tech don't really make sense. The the military tactics make even less sense, so there's that. As you direct. Uh-uh. Uh-uh, what? Wait, 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 wait. No! No, that's really bad. I didn't know there was a window there. Wow. Wow, that's what I get for pontificating about freaking Starship Troopers. Well, shit. Okay. What to do? What to do? Um, well, I mean, I do have my rocket. So I could just blow them up. But uh, I mean, I could end up blowing you up instead. Who can I command? I got booze. Joker. So Joker I can command. I mean, Joker's got good shots here. Because I can just grenade this. I can just kill this right here with the, with the grenade. Most likely. Maybe. This sucks, dude. This really sucks. I screwed the pooch on that one. I should have known there was a damn window there. I should have known. Wow. That just... That kills it, man. Uh, we could also... I could also capacitor... No, no. I can't get close enough to capacitor discharge. I could get here in capacitor discharge. Uh, what I might do, do you have... Yes, you do have threat assessment. So I could give Joker the ability to use Overwatch from where he is. That'd probably be a good idea. Who can you see? Can you see all of those guys? You can see that guy, that guy, that guy, that guy, and that guy. Okay. Yeah, he's boned. He is definitely boned. I have to... I have to do something. Who's your teammate? Joker as well? All right, I think I'm going to go for the turret. All right, yeah, yeah. I think... Can I get a grenade in here? I mean, I can get a grenade over there, actually. I mean, look at that. That's actually really good. That's actually really good with a grenade. Um, it's just not going to help me overly much. So, maybe I do just grenade this dude. The turret. Right there. Bam. Yeah, because the point that Heinlein was trying to get across with Starship Troopers' book was to create an extremely libertarian society based around uh, liberty being the utmost important thing. So if you wanted to be able to vote, then you had to sacrifice for the greater good, which means you had to sacrifice part of your life and potentially sacrifice your life for that to happen. And so to even become involved in politics, to be able to vote. And I believe uh, also in Starship Troopers, it is your duty to vote. So when the vote, when when it's time to vote, you have to vote, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, I don't know how this is going to roll, man. I don't know how this is going to roll. Uh, who's your bro? Who's your bro? You can't see your bro. Who is it? Neutron. Damn it. Hmm. Hmm. I'm very much considering doing this. It could end badly for me, though. It could end very badly for me. Well, you know, shit happens. Let's do it, boys. I will have my vengeance. We've already screwed it. We already screwed the pooch. Please don't hit him. Please don't hit him. Oh god, it's gonna hit him. Oh, hey, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. It even hit him. Oh, nice, nice. 
And of course, it pulls the drones. That's that's phenomenal. Thanks, game. Thanks. You're so awesome. You're so awesome. Um, uh, I mean, I love how the grenade doesn't look like it's going to hit him. That's kind of weird, right? Because I'm thinking here is that what can I do with my sniper? If I use my sniper, I could move over here and we could kill the shield bearer. Probably be a good idea. But I'm not going to get death from above, right? I'm not going to get any good shots off of that. And, uh, yeah, Dynamite already used his abilities. 97 on that guy. Because what I'm thinking here of doing is I'm thinking of... I'm thinking of giving Joker... I'm thinking of giving him advanced teamwork and command. So we'll use an advanced teamwork. No, no, no. I'll give him advanced teamwork so he can... So he can shoot a couple dudes, like these two, or maybe shoot the Lancer, maybe shield the shield shield bearer, maybe shoot the shield bearer, yeah, or whatever he can do, right? He can see he can see quite a few dudes, and then I'll give him aid protocol. And I'm thinking of just using him to kill this thing, right? Because I need a 17, 18, 19. I need 19 on that, and if I dead eye. I'll have minimum of 23, right? So we'll be able to kill it easy peasy. And then I could use my grenade. Because I'm only going to be able to shoot, like, if I move him, even if I were able to grapple all the way up here, I wouldn't be able to shoot anybody, right? I probably wouldn't have any shots up here. So the only other shot I would have is if I move up. And I'd only have, like, one shot. Two, maybe, right? But I'd only be able to take one. Because I wouldn't have double tap, and I wouldn't have death from above. People been, get, get out of Banish about everything I read in Arkham about how someone watched Lord of the Rings movie and came out of the conclusion that Tokens was racist because orcs were black. <laughs> oh, someone hurt me in the brain. Yeah, it's just like the people who think Skaven are, the, are Jewish people. It's like if you see a Skaven, and that makes you think, oh, this is, this is a Jewish person, then you might be the racist. It's so ridiculous. It's absolutely ridiculous. <laughs> It bends me out of shape, I'll tell you that right now. Definitely bends me out of shape. Okay, so we've got the turret. Turret's down. The turret's down. Alrighty, so... Do I go for the grenade, right? Here's ask the question. Do we go for the grenade here? I think so. It kind of feels like a waste of a grenade. But it will... Yeah, I'm just going to do it. I'm just going to do it. Boom, baby! Come on, give me that grenade. Give me that Granada! And it didn't hit that guy. That kind of sucks. Although it did knock his cover out. So. Okay, so we're going to advance teamwork Joker. We have nothing to fear. Probably should have commanded, honestly. Maybe we go for the Rocketeer. Rapid fire the Rocketeer. Because the rest of these dudes are going are gonna to trigger my Overwatch, right? Depending. I just think he's going to get shit on, man. Like, severely. I mean, and kill zone's not even really going to work. We're too close. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. The rest of these are going to be fairly easy to get kills on. Relatively speaking, um, but if I la the, I'm thinking I'm thinking I'm going on the Rocketeer. I'm thinking we're going. I think we're going to go on the Rocketeer here. Probably my best bet. Come on, Joker, make it rain, baby. There it is. No, a graze. How very dare you, sir? Yes, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Oh, buddy. And we got that elite gunner back there, so that's going to be interesting. And we're going to aid protocol Joker Boy here for some triple overwatch. And I think that's going to be the turn. Oh, God. Here we go. We're going to see if Storm makes it out of here. Let's see what happens. This, in, this, this, this just went very so sideways. It's not even funny. Yep. I mean, he's probably he might die here. Yeah, he's going to die. I think he's going to die. Boom! Oh, but no kill. That's one shot. 
And he shredded his armor. That sucks. And you're dead. Boom! Right in the butthole! Give me that butthole. Come on, move shield there. Gunner. Can you see him, Joker? Nope. Nope. Okay. And Grenadier! Oh, with only the eight. Why, Joker? Why you graze? Why, bro? And here comes the grenade. Nope. Oh, and you missed, punk ass, with your 50 aim. Victory is measured in blood. <sighs> yep. Shield bear is going to do his shield bear thing. At least he didn't do it first, right? At least he didn't do it first. Uh, who is that? First sergeant. Oh, that's what you get, bitch. How you like me now? How you like me now? I do not like taking this many shots. No. Bad, bad, no. Damn it. He grazed at that close range. That's hilarious. Dude, he is taking it like a champ, dude. Did he miss? He must have missed. That was a miss. Okay, we survived. We survive! Yes! Ah, 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 ah. How you like me now? How you like me now? He can do some things. That's good, right? Lightning hands, 95%. That's not bad. I think Joker, however, is going to punch this guy in the face. Yeah, but you've only got one, one ammo. That's no bueno. That is no bueno. Uh, can you see the shield bear way in the back? No, but you can see that dude. You can definitely see that dude. Okay, so what to do, what to do, what to do, what to do. I think we're going to move up. I might be able to fling a grenade back there. Let's see if we can get it. Let's see if we can get it. You know, a great man once said that it is not your job to die for your country. It is your job to make sure the other asshole dies for his country. That's your job. <laughs> That's your job there, Danny boy. That's your job. Um, I mean, that's kind of cool there. It's kind of cool. I mean, I think we're just going to shoot that guy. I mean, that's that's pretty much, that's a dead bro. Yeah, that's a dead bro. But Joker here needs to reload. Which means he's not only going to get one shot unless I command him. Yeah, that does kind of suck, doesn't it? So let's revival, and then we'll command Joker. I think that's pretty good. That way he'll get a double shot. Well, let's revival protocol and see what happens, yeah? Yeah. Yeah. Let's revive. And now the question is, do I probably do want to take a pistol shot at somebody? Because I got I got both lightning hands and clutch shot. Or uh, what is it called? What is it called? Quick draw. Yeah. So I can actually shoot somebody. So we got five to eight damage. Um, because what I'm thinking here is that I go Volt, and I hit him. Hey, look at that. It'll hit them both. And I do that right there. Wait. So if I do that, it'll bing, bing, but it won't bing to the other guy? That's kind of weird. That's kind of weird. What is your shot on the, let's see, 55? We definitely have to get rid of that gunner there. I definitely got to do that. Only the insane have strength enough to prosper. Only those who prosper may truly judge the sane. I think I've heard that somewhere before. Hmm. Hmm. This is why I hate shield bearers. This is specifically why I hate them. Joker, what do you have on your thing? Stiletto? Okay. Like, you've definitely got the damage, right? 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Yeah, you've definitely got the damage. Hmm. I don't really want to take his shots because it's just going to do damage to the armor or to the to the armor. So maybe we hold on that and I just I just do the volt. Right? I'm thinking so. I mean, yeah, let's just do it. Let's just do it. Fear the Templar! Boom boom. Not bad, not bad. Shield removed. He's panicked. Now I don't even need to kill him. Oh, wait. Yeah, I do. <sighs> now he's panicked. You know what that means? That means he's hunkered. God dang it. 
All right, well. <sighs> that did not work well in my favor. So let's blow his ass up. Granada! I also got this dude I need to take care of. We also have Wraith up top that we can use. So five damage on him. Did it blow up his cover? No, of course it didn't. Of course it didn't. <sighs> and he's still alive, which means he's still giving shields to everybody. God dang it. This is really pissing me off. <laughs> this is really pissing me off. 58. He's got two HP, man. There's got to be a way I can do some damage to him. There's got to be a way. There's got to be a way. Oh, 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 I know who. I know who. I know who. You. Yes. Yes! Yes, Wraith! Coming to save the day! Screw you, buddy! Screw you, buddy! Yes! Die, fool. I love it when a plan comes together, baby. Boom! Shields removed. That's what I wanted. That's what I wanted. Oh, and hit and run. How convenient. How very convenient. Okay, it, it, you know, it just took like, you know, half of everything I had. No, no big deal. No big deal. All right, what's your shots here, Joker? Oh, you mean you could shoot that guy in the face? I like that. I like that. Let's go. Let's reload. I probably should have just shot and then reloaded, but whatever. No, because if I'd have shot and reloaded, then I wouldn't be able to take a second shot here in just a second. So, who do you got? You got that guy, you got that guy over there, and you got that guy. Plus, we got that guy. And we can easily take out that guy. Like this. Booze! Lay it down, baby. Ooh, the 23 damage. The 23. The 23. I also got to kill this fool. Um, I might be able to finagle him with a flamethrower. So... Let's see if that works, actually. I want to see if that works. This is probably a bad idea. This is probably a very bad idea. Oh, nope. It's going to hit him. Boom. Boom shakalaka! Take it, baby! Take it in the butthole! He's burning and on... Damn, 11 damage. Woo! That's the good stuff. I cannot stress to you enough how just awesome sauce this is. Okay. Uh, yeah, you're all the way over there. You're not helping, though, buddy. You're not helping me at all here. Uh, we're just going to leave you over there for now. All right, what do we got? We got one, two... We got that guy in the back, too. Okay, so... I guess we go ahead and command Joker. Yeah. Yeah, we command Joker. Come on, Joker! We're depending on you, buddy. We're depending on you. Now, I could just overwatch him again. And that would probably work fairly well. We also got this butthole right here, so... We gotta remember that. So we could take out the Grenadier. That's probably the most hardcore dude. Who else do I have? Is that it? Oh, dude, that sucks. So this gunner right here is going to have my lunch if I don't kill him. He's going to obliterate my butthole. And there's really nothing I can do about it. Can I see the Grenadier? No, I cannot. Damn. And all I got is you next. Hmm. Well, I mean, I could do this. But that's not going to do anything for Joker, right? That would blow up the... I could use Joker to blow up the wall. But... I won't have the ability to do anything. Right? Even, even, even if I were to, say, kill zone or whatever. Because he's still going to be... He's still going to be exposed. I've kind of gotten myself into a real shitstorm here. Hmm. And I can't see the Grenadier either. That's the real problem. So he can see the Grenadier. I think I'm just going to Overwatch. There's really nothing much I can do, man. There's really nothing much I can do here. Other than run my Shinobi back over. That's about it. You know what I'm saying? I got him, but what can I do other than... I can take a shot there, and I can throw a Claymore. That's it. If we throw a claymore, I have to shoot it with somebody. Hmm. And I won't be able to shoot it with anybody else. I've already used command, so that's that's gone. Booze is gone. 
We've gotten you. You're gone. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, I really got nothing else. I really got nothing else I can do here. No, I really don't. All right, boys. Unfortunately, I need to take a, I need to take another quick break here. We'll be right back after these few messages from our break screen. Stay tuned for more Xenos purging action. We'll be right back. Stay tuned.
right, my dudes. I appreciate your patience here, my dudes. I very much appreciate it. Thank you. Fortunately, I had to go do some things for the for the family and whatnot, so we're back. And I am just, I am looking at this, and I'm like, oh, what have I done to myself? What have I done to myself? I don't really know how we're going to make this happen, right? So, I can't even flank him. If I could flank him, I might be willing to move Joker down and stand right next to him and actually punch him in the face with the both barrels thing. Hmm. Or point blank, I should say. Rapid fire on you is not going to be very good. That's why I'm thinking of going with the um, Overwatch all. Or is the Overwatch is because we have covering fire, which means not only will I hit this dude and do damage to him, which will make his aim go down, but it also confers an aim animus of like negative 10 whenever I, whenever I, I shoot him. So it just depends. I mean, it might be wasted. So 6 to 11, I mean, <laughs> oh God, dude. And as you can see, the rapid fire is at 69%. So we could kill him. But I think we're gonna I think we're gonna overwatch Joker. If only I could get close enough to see the grenadier, but I can't. I mean there it is. But yeah, look at that. Not even not even anywhere near close enough. Not I, I went that way to scout and yeah, I ended up screwing myself heartily. Alright, let's just get up here. Let's just get up here, and theres I really have no other options, do I? Who's your teammate? Storm. And it's regular teamwork, right? Yeah, it's regular old teamwork. Hmm. It's too bad he doesn't have, like, the homing mines, because that would be pretty cool. If I had one other shot, I would, pro I would do that. But I have no other shots. And Joker's not going to shoot it unless I actually shoot it with him. And I can't give him another shot, so it's kind of... Hmm. Also don't want him to be flanked. This gives him a better position. I mean, it's possible. Well, it's not actually going to be possible to kill this dude. I have no crit chance. So I either have to rapid fire or hope to God my stuff works. You know what I mean? And if I come down here for Overwatch, then all the rest of these dudes might get overwatched. You know what? Let's just do it. Let's just make it happen. Here we go. Here we go. We're just going to have to take it to the face. Two damage. Come on, game. That's not fair. That's not fair. Did his cover just blow off? Make him go. Make him go. Yes. Yes. Joker! Boom! 13 damage, my dude. Oh, no. Come on, man. He still hit him? Boom! Joker gets the kill. That's what I was hoping for. That's what I was hoping for.